Okay, so here I am on the third hole at Boulder Ridge Golf Club. I've had a great drive. I get a chance to get to the green in two shots. And I probably have to use my hybrid or my three wood. Um, so today's lesson, we're going to talk a bit on how to hit solid three woods and hybrids, and how to get close to the green in two. That's the worst feeling in the world when you're on the golf course, when you've hit a perfect drive right down the middle of the fairway, you're in the short grass, and all of a sudden you top your hybrid or your three wood, eliminating chances for a birdie, or at least very minimalizing your chances. What we're going to learn today is how to strike your hybrids and your fairway woods much better off these fairway lies. Whenever the ball is sitting down on a tight lie, we've got to remember to strike down through the ball, never sweep up at the ball. My name is David Nesbitt. I'm the Director of Instruction at Boulder Ridge Golf Club in San Jose, California. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Okay, so it turns out uh, I did end up hitting a really good drive. I'm right in the middle of the fairway, but I'm on kind of a tight lie. And I think I can get to the green in two, or at least get pretty close to the green in two. Uh, I don't want to lay up on this one because I've, I've got a real good chance of getting there. So I pulled out my hybrid club. Uh, I may need a three wood, but I'm going to try this guy first. Uh, one of the biggest problems that people have with these clubs is their failure to strike down through the ball. A lot of it starts with their setup as well. So when we're faced with this shot, always treat your hybrids just like an iron. In fact, they replace your irons. So I've got myself a three hybrid, um, which is again replacing my three iron. And the way we hit all iron shots is we have to strike down on the ball with our hands in front of the ball at impact got to make contact with the ground after we strike the ball. Uh, because these clubs look so much like woods, right, they're kind of shaped like a driver, a little more than a driver than an iron, uh, we have this, um, this instinct to want to help sweep or lift the ball off the ground. Actually, we want to hit down on the ball and try to trap it just like we do an iron. It looks something like this. One of the things I always try to do as well is I try to make sure that I thump the ground on my practice swing to ensure that I can repeat that same downward angle of attack when I set up to the ball. That was a bad swing. That was a good swing. Put this over here so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit down on the ball, forward press my hands, put the ball position closer to the center of your stance rather than forward in your stance. So I like it right about here instead of here. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, that struck pretty well. You can notice there's a divot after I struck the ball. Nice solid shot. I'm up near the green in two. Okay, so let's try that next shot. This time we're going to use a three wood instead of a hybrid. And what you're going to notice is the similarities in our setup. I still like to have the ball positioned in between the center of my stance and the front foot. So if my driver, my setup is right here on the inside part of my left shoe, the iron or the hybrid is more towards the center of the stance. I'm going to put the fairway wood just right in between the driver and the hybrid or the irons. Again, I want to get my hands slightly ahead of the ball at impact, right about here, and I want to make sure that I'm hitting slightly down on the ball. If I do this correctly, there's a good chance that I'm going to make a little bit of divot after I strike the ball, or at least make contact with the turf. That ensures that I can press the ball, and hopefully that ball will go flying off the club face, sailing straight towards the green. Let's watch. Okay, so ball position in between left heel and center of your stance. Hands slightly forward at address. Make sure when you take your practice swing, you make a little thump of the turf. Just like that. And hopefully, your shot will look something like this. Hit that one pretty well. Very solid, pretty straight. 
Again, making contact with the turf. If I can do these three things, keep my hands forward at impact, strike down on the ball, and position the ball correctly in my stance, there's a good chance I'll be hitting more shots like that, getting close to the green, making par, maybe even birdie. Thanks for watching my video. My name is David Nesbitt. I'm the Director of Instruction, Boulder Ridge Golf Club, San Jose, California. I hope these tips help. If you need additional help with your game, please contact me. Thanks a lot. Have a good round.